Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are taking on Stage 6 of the God Event. With the Ginyu Force just trouncing through, um, so far I am 5 for 5, no losses yet. Um, first try through we've gone in. Um, on the last video I did a full Ginyu Force team. Uh, this video I am continuing with a full Ginyu Force team for this one. Um, my rule that I kind of set early on was that I'm going to at least use the core four, which is the basically the three brand new units and then the new LR EZA, so the first four units you see there on my team. Those are in every video no matter what. The last two spots I'm leaving a little bit open-ended, but um, here we're going to take on Champa, and uh, Champa is AGL, so I'm going to ride the tech LR Ginyu even though they don't have an EZA and Global, and I'm going to try Goldo out and just give him a chance to shine here a little bit. He's actually not going to shine very well. Like, Goldo is, like, really good in Super Battle Road, but he's all about debuffing, which I'm pretty sure Champa is going to be immune to all of it, but we'll just throw him on just for his stats and his type advantage and see if he can do enough, and we're going to see him turn one here. We're probably going to float him, to be honest. We got Raccoon and Goldo. Okay, we got to make sure we have a Ginyu for Raccoon and Goldo, so we got to leave physical Ginyu here for sure. But what's, just out of curiosity, what's Goldo look Oh yeah, 100k defense. He does get defense on super, but he might be a sitting duck here. Um, <laughs> I feel like we've already got a Whis turn. So definitely not going to be like my last round where um, <laughs> I basically don't have to use items the whole time. We're going to start right off. I mean, this isn't like the strongest starting rotation either, right? So we'll just use a Whis right away and just see how far we can get on Champa here. Um, and I'm okay if I take an L. Like, if I take an L, we'll just hop back in. Yeah, okay, so super right away, so I'm glad we used Whis. Yeah, 265k even with the Whis right there. Yeah, these... <laughs> these can definitely sting. So yeah, had I not used Whis, I would have been dead turn one. So, the God Event, even though, like, my runs have been fairly clean so far, like, this isn't easy. Like, I've just had lucky RNG, good setups... Things like that. And you can see right here, when you don't have the best setup, you can get crushed very quickly. Or if he supers you right away, right? Um, now, I could have put Jason Bird or Had I known they were going to dodge out like that, I probably would have put them in slot one. But, like, even with the Whis, they would have taken a ton of damage. 2.7 for Goldo here, free to play. Not that bad, actually. He's actually putting together good damage, tanking double-digit normals with Whis. But, okay. Yeah, so this is kind of gross here where we just got all these Ginyus like mashed together. All right, the friend Ginyu's better, so we're going to keep him on. Um, we've already used our Wii, so we're just going to ride this turn. What is our tech Ginyu looking like? 160k defense. Yeah, not that great. This is a non-easy aid one, remember. Um, but I figured I'll try him out here just because he's still providing support and he does have type advantage. Uh, I think Wii is going to carry us through here just... Yeah, and I think we're going to be good now because the Ginyus are going to get a chance to stack defense before they potentially get supered. So I think they're going to be fine. And then the Ginyu in the middle, like they've got type advantage, but so I think because of the type advantage that they, they can get by with the lower defense here. Uh, let's see what happens here. 3.4. Like, yeah, when you're hitting like 3.5 mils, non-EZA, that's pretty good. I think the EZA one can hit like 7, 8 mil, which is crazy. Uh, while supporting 59% plus another 30% on super. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right, so I think we're going to make it through this turn okay. Now, here's the, the gamble I'm playing here is I didn't bring any healing items. So my only healing is going to come from collecting orbs or from Ginyu's transformation. So probably what I'm going to do here, I've got Champa halfway dead already. So I might as well just Whis again back to back. And if I do the same amount of damage, we're going to kill him by the time Whis is out anyways. Um, so I think we're going to be fine here, and I think I'm just going to leave this rotation sit just like this. We're going to use a Whis just to be safe here. Um, not going to bang my head over trying to do no item runs or anything like that. Uh, we'll do this. Again, you give me a nice little heal here. And then Jason Birder. We'll leave those tech orbs because I can heal on those tech orbs next turn potentially. Alright, so this we should be fine because we used Whis. Raccoon and Galdo are just ridiculous beast monsters. Um... This is a unit that dominates red zone. So if they're dominating red zone, they're dominating the god event. All right, this is going to be nothing. I think even without Whis, this would be like nothing, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. I mean, it's it, it actually amazes me how well they tank, like everything. It's just crazy how good they are. Pretty much every video is just showing how good Raccoon and Gold are. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. And it's crazy because I almost didn't get them. Like I did... I did my discount multis and my um my tickets and I got Ginyu. 
and Jason Berger, but no Rakuman Goldo. I did one extra multi and pulled three Rakuman Goldos on one multi, which is very good because they are great. Okay, so uh, we could do a Ginyu Transform here. Here's the problem. I mean, I think, okay, Ginyu's defense is still looking pretty good here. I think we're going to ride it like this. I don't know. Do I want Goldo in the lap? I mean, they're... <laughs> do I want to transform? I think I am going to transform. So I can get the heal and then just play this more offensively based. Because I do still have Whis active here. What's our defense looking like here? Alright, only 300k defense. So, but... We're going to do this. And we're just going to hope our damage can carry us through here. Because next turn is going to get really dicey. Because we don't have the Whis anymore. Hopefully we don't eat a super here. Give me like a triple super here. Give me a triple super Ginyu Goku and let's call this a day. And hopefully Champa doesn't dodge. Okay, there's one. Here comes number two. <laughs> I think this is my Ginyu, by the way, because he's not hitting as hard. Mine's only 55%, but still performs well. All right, we got a triple attack, but only two supers. But that's fine. Uh, and then that's right. He, he builds up dodge chance too. It's He's crazy. All right, this should do decent damage. 2.5 isn't crazy, but it's type advantage here. And then Goldo should get a nice shot on here also, because he's getting double supported here. I think Goldo's going to be like 2.5 mil. Yeah, 2.5 mil. Give me a... I, I think I gave him full additionals. Give me another one. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, Champa decided to be nice. Here's the bad part. We're probably taking a super here. Luckily, I think we've still got this, because I've got Raccoon and Goldo slot 1, which is like a fail save. And then AGL Ginyu is probably going to multi-super and finish Champa off. And even if he gets hit, he's going to be stacking defense. Um, so I think he's going to be okay. And then physical Ginyu would finish for sure. So I think we got this. This definitely wasn't like, oh my god, so easy. Because you saw we took like half our health on the very first attack of the round with a Wisan, right? So had we not put Wisan, it would have been instant death. <laughs> so I can get like... I. I mean, props to people doing no item runs on these because it can be frustrating it can take a lot of turns all right so yeah tank that like a boss 72k is like nothing we're fine and then ginyu should finish it up here and we know we're not taking any more supers so we're good yep there you go all right so we got champa taken out of here so we are six for six guys uh so far haven't taken an l yet um, but i know we got some hard ones coming up right we've got uh uh we've got what's the the universe 11 belmod yeah he's gonna be hard um so we'll see see how it goes i think beerus is kind of hard too but uh, i don't remember the typings on them so it depends on the typing so anyways guys thanks for watching uh feel free to check out more of these ginyu stompings of the god event thanks for watching we'll catch you all in the next one